What's up guys, I have absolutely no idea what this channel is called. I have been trying to make this YouTube channel for maybe two years now, but just never been able to figure out a proper name for it. Sorry if quality is not the best, I'm recording it off my phone. That's all I have, so I'm just gonna use it. It's on the tripod that I connected uh, for the piece with the selfie stick, and I just like kind of just stuck them together. And it's, it's working, it's working so far, so I think it's doing good. But anyways, today we're gonna be going over how I'm preparing my Uncharted 4 Nathan Drake cosplay. So Nathan Drake, if you don't already know, is a main character in the game series from Uncharted 1 to Uncharted 4. He's a treasure hunter that usually goes around the world trying to find these massive piles of just gold and treasure. He usually ends up finding out that the treasure is actually part of something a lot bigger and more sinister than that. But when Nathan Drake finds out that there's someone else trying to look for the same sinister object and tries to use it to their own advantage, he has to do whatever he can to take down that enemy with his closest friends. But sometimes Nathan Drake kind of just helps out that bad guy by discovering something then carelessly not holding on to it very well. So then the bad guy finds out what Nathan Drake discovered and then so then when you think that you're getting the advantage you don't get the advantage because then you just even it out again but it's not really even it out because that guy usually has like a giant army or just mercs that try to help them out so really you're not doing anything usually because when you do find something that the other guy doesn't know like let's say you uncovered a tomb that hasn't been opened in so many so many years yeah you're you're proud of yourself but it doesn't really matter because the further you go you find out that the bad guys are actually there so you're doing all that hard work to discover that tomb that hasn't been opened doesn't really pay off because the bad guys kind of just blew up their way into there so like they're kind of cheating but they're not really cheating because they somehow knew where to go and then in the end usually the bad guy is more successful in finding the treasure because they're usually there already by the time you get there so you just have to stop him from doing whatever it is that he's doing I don't know it's a, it's a good game don't worry it's a good game you should play it so today I'm gonna be going over the holsters the belt bag and the shoes that I'm gonna be using for the cosplay yeah I picked that up kind of need this for the video so I'm going to explain how I got these items and what I'm going to be doing to them to make them look a little more accurate to what it looks like in the games. So these are the shoes that I'm going to be using for the outfit. I think that the color and the stitching just works very well and I think it's very accurate to the one he has. I got these for $16 on clearance at Academy. The quality of these shoes are great and as you can see they're already dirty. That's just for me wearing these outside when it's raining in the Texas mud. That's really all you had to do with this, just let the mud dry and let it stick in. Just let it, let it do what it wants. But I am going to be modifying it to make it look like it's been going through the rainforest recently, so it's not just dry dirt on his shoes. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is Nathan Drake's belt bag. I got this belt bag from Like Linda on her Etsy shop. I will leave all her stuff down below. It's also where I got Nathan's holsters. I was lucky enough to get it while she had a sale going on. It's made from actual leather, and I just think that it looks very accurate and it's very nice to the one that Nathan Drake has in Uncharted 4. As you can see, it has a belt strap and the zippers are where they're supposed to be. I think it's very accurate in size and the stitching, even right here where it's very faint in the game. She just managed to nail every single bit. The material on the inside is very soft, so you don't have to worry about things messing up if you put it in there. And it's very durable, so you don't have to worry about it ripping or tearing apart if you're climbing a temple. It already came like this, so it's already kind of weathered and kind of just looks like you've been using it for a while, but, I'm, but of course I'm going to be adding some dirt, maybe some scratches in some places, just to make it look like I've been sliding down hills and rocks and Wet. And last but not least, the holsters. These were also made by Like Linda. Um, all of her information is going to be down below. She makes a ton of stuff from Uncharted to Mortal Kombat, all the leather works. It's real leather. The leather is very soft. The stitching is good. Everything from the magazine holsters. Usually when you try to find holsters with the magazine cartridges, they're usually kind of vertical. And But Nathan Drake has his horizontal and she was able to do that very well. Nathan Drake doesn't have this in the game but I'm guessing she put this in there just for support while you have it if you're actually going to use it as an actual holster. This is the gun part of the holster. Um, Nathan Drake does have these but they're just kind of tucked in there while he has the gun in there. The gun holster part is a bit small for the guns that I do have but I think it's totally okay. It kind of just hugs it and snugs it so it doesn't fall over while you try to bend down and reach something because he, you do not use these. Yeah, there's the back of it right there. It's very durable, I don't have to worry about it tearing up or messing up while I'm out there distressing it. It only comes in one size so you can't adjust how big or small you want the straps to be. But in terms of size and proportion, I think it's very accurate to the one Nathan Drake has. And now I'm just going to go over techniques that I'm going to be using to distress and weather some of this stuff to make it look like I've been running around, being shot at, and being clawed by enemies. So now I'm just going to be going over how I'm going to be distressing and weathering all of this stuff to make, to give it scratches, make it look like I've been running through branches and leaves and trees and cats. 
roads. Like if I've been attacked by a couple lemurs, chased around a small city in Madagascar by a big truck, dragged around the ground with other trucks and having to jump to other cars and jeeps to take out my enemies and like kind of just like getting in a sword fight, saving my my brother. But yeah, I'm just gonna go over all that real quick. It's a better look at the shoes, the belt bag, and the holsters. So here's the belt bag. I'm going to be using this tool that's usually used to opening bottles and buckets and paints and cans of all sorts. Of course, one useful tip is to always practice and on the same on either the same material or a part of the material that no one's gonna see. For instance, no one's gonna see this back part because it's just gonna be on your body. So you could just use this for practice. I'm going to be using this part of the tool to give it some scratches. You kind of just want to get in there on the same spots and areas. Until you get a desired, until you get a, a desired scratch effect that you would want. I imagine scratches on his back will be going upward, mostly due because of all the sliding that he does in the game. And you gotta think about that all those rocks are getting into, are getting onto this bag. Not all of them have to be big or small. Kind of just do what you feel is necessary. Some could be harder. Some could be uh, a little more faint. I decided to go into commentary for a bit because I realized that a good number of you guys are probably not going to enjoy the whole scraping sound. So, so as you see here, I'm randomly just scraping at it and that's just to make it look more natural that not everything is going to be perfectly straight. You just want the scratches as diverse as possible. Now as you can see here, the leather is very smooth and very soft, but we don't want that. What we want is to give it an illusion that we've been through the rainforest and we've been under the water, scraping against the ground, uh, beating people up, getting beat up, and being shot at. So. so I'm using a wire brush right here to try to fray up the leather and especially the ends. So it'll give you a nice frayed look like this. Now I'm going back with the same can opener tool and making all these scratches around it for the same reason as I did with the boat bag. Try to make them as random as possible in different depths. Now to help me out a bit, I'm using a rough sanding block and just going at it. This is going to be a lot more effective than the wire brush. As you can see here, it picks up the leather more. And I'm even going back with a 120 grit sandpaper. Just for these metal spots and for random pieces around the leather. So here's a side by side to how different to how different it looks. And I will go over with a little wash, but this is what we have right now. So here it is in a different lighting. It is pretty subtle, but that's what you want. You don't want to overdo it in the weathering process. You want it to look like you've been trying to take care of it, but not really working out. And you see here, I have a regular little knife that I could use. And it is just for thinner, more fine pieces, because you don't want you don't want them to be the same width, the size, and just like this is a tree branch. This was from a rock everything's different and here I have a little file where I use the edges and it's a lot more effective in digging into the leather so you want to be very careful and not overdo it now an important note to take here the magazine pouches on the holster are gonna have a very hard edge so they're gonna be more prone to taking scratches and scrapes so what I did was stick two pieces of wood in there and use the edges and corners for a nice weathered look. What you see now is me mixing together some black and brown shoe polish. It's about 80% brown shoe polish, 20% black. And I'm diluting it with water so it doesn't, so it's not as so it's not as strong as it should be. So now what I'm doing is rubbing it all over the holster. 
The reason I'm doing it is because it's wet, I'm, it's easier to make creases into it. So as you can see, it gives more of the effect that it's been used for a while. Same exact thing with the gun holster, and you can see me going back at it with the knife so I could get more scratches that are more recent, and it just makes it look better, I think. Alright, so now that we got everything that has to do with weathering done, now we're going to move on to gluing some soil, like rainforest soil, onto the holsters and to the bag. So what I'm going to do is just, I got a cup with some soil on the inside, and then I'm just going to put some of this glue inside. It's just some extra glue I had lying around that I found. And then I'm just going to pour it inside of here. And then... Not too much, but you know, enough to not see it anymore. So you just gotta get it in there and then mix it around. Make sure you get an even little coating so that every single bit of soil gets some glue. So that it's not gonna, you're, gonna have to, you're not gonna have too much excess in there. Add some more glue. You could just use regular Elmer's glue. I just, I just had this one lying around. I think that's a fair amount. It's kind of gray. I put a lot in there. It's gonna eventually, when it does um, dry, it's gonna end up clearing up. So I'm not too worried about that. So I gotta strategically put this uh, soil where I just feel that soil will get stuck, like this crevices, and just put them in there. It doesn't have to be neat at all. It's better if it's not neat because it is dirt and soil. And then so I'm just like going across like you've been trekking through the mud and dirt and all it's okay it's, if it just looks a little uh, too messy and too dirty all the excess will fall out just make sure you get it into the leather so it soaks it up, compress it down so that not too much will fall out when it does dry. I'm actually going to add some water to the mixture so that's a little easier to soak in. And then we're just going to let this dry so that so we can come back and take away any scratch marks or other other forms of weathering that we may have to do. Of course, I'm gonna have to add some more of the wet soil back down here into the crevices and all where the buttons are. And then repeat the process just along, all around, just rubbing it into it so it's not too clean. It's not this is like this is way too clean for me for my liking. There's no way I'm gonna be running around into the forest looking like this. And these creases where the leather meets one another, it's a good spot. All right guys, so now that the dirt has dried, I'm gonna go in with a clear finish. And what this is gonna do is that it's going to make the leather uh, and the dirt seem a lot wetter so that it looks like I am just now going through the rainforest. And you can see it, it, you can see here that it did make the dirt a little white, but that's gonna clear up and it's nothing you should worry about for now.
So I did this with both the holster and the bag. So that's about it on the entire holster and the bag process. So again, please share this video out with uh, anyone you think that will be interested. It's my first video. I wanted to, I really want to do this. So next episode, we'll be going over my pants and or maybe the shirt as well. And if not either of those, it's probably going to be a video over my next cosplay, which is going to be my Spider-Man Noir from the Spider-Man PS4 game. Leave some constructive criticism down in the comments if you will, or just a comment on anything else and I'll try my best to answer. Until then, here are some HD photos and videos of the bag and holster and until my next video, I'll talk to you guys later.